Alrighty everyone, welcome back to another video by the Card Warriors of Magic. Hopefully you guys are enjoying all the card tricks um, that have been coming out. So here is how today's card trick is going to go. It's kind of, it's a prediction uh, card trick slash, um, I don't know, slash spell your card card trick. That's what we're going to call it. Um, so what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and have you um, tell me when to stop when I riffle down before halfway. So let's say you said stop right here. Alright, so we're flipping it over. No monkey business, I promise. The section is the flipped over section, right? We're putting it on just like that. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and riffle down, and I want you to tell me to stop again. So, stop right here. All right, sweet. So, um, the first face down card we come to will be your card. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put that, flip that back over. I promise I'm not looking at it. There's your card. All right, that will be your card. We're going to go ahead and just put it on top, just like that. And um, we'll go ahead and take off a section, just like this. So I'll show you. This has your card on it, on top, right? All right. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and cut down, uh, I don't know, one, two, five packs, three, four, five, just like that. So the deck has been cut five times, just like that. Um, now watch. If we start making piles, um, some magic will happen. So let's just start making some piles. Ready? All right. Alright, one, there's our first pile, let's just make this pile, and then you know what, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just cut the deck just like that, there's our next two piles. So we've got these piles right here, um, and I'm going to go ahead and just start collecting them back up in a different order than they came, just like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab this last packet, and we'll go ahead and set that back on top. Alright, so, now uh, watch this, if I deal down the cards just like this, just one, two, three, four, or that's four. That's four cuts, right? All right, just four cuts. Now watch. So I know your card was the seven of hearts. That was pretty easy to figure out. That was probably the easiest part of the trick, but here's the hard part. I don't know where your card is uh, in the deck, so I have to let the deck spell it out for me. You ready? S-E-V-E-N-O-F-H-E-A-R-T-S. -E -E and there would be your card, the seven of hearts. Hope you guys did enjoy that card trick. Um, be sure to stick around for the tutorial, and with that, I will see you all next time. Alrighty, everyone, welcome to the explanation of that awesome card trick. You're going to really love this card trick, so uh, let's just get in the tutorial. Today, I used a force called the Cativa Fork. Really easy card force, going to be like your best friend. Um, so basically, here's what it looks like. You have the Seven of Hearts on top. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to tell the spectator to riffle down a back. Uh, full to tell you to stop when you riffle down um, before halfway. So tell them to stop. Boom, right here. All right. See this? There's no fancy moves here. It's just halfway, just like that. Flip it over. Now tell them to tell. Uh, now tell them to tell you um, to stop after um, they get past where you originally stopped. So you uh, you can start already like halfway down. So that you don't have to worry about them saying stop like right here and flipping it over again because that would not force the right card on them. You want to tell them to stop again after their previous um, break. So, alright, so this is what you're going to do. You tell them to stop again and look, I'll show you. The first face down card that they come to <clears throat> is going to be the seven of hearts. That's just the way the force works. Um, it's really simple, it's really easy, that's just how it works. Um, it just works every time. It's just, you know, if you think about it, it works out. Um, but most of the time, the speculator is not really thinking about it. So you have their card up top, um, and you show them the card, in our case, the Seven of Hearts. You can either do two things. One, you can go ahead and push it into the deck just like that. But then when you push it in, you come up from the top and get a break with your pinky. So you have a pinky break right above their card. So their card is going to be right here, right there. You have a break right above it, right there. Um, and then you can just go ahead and um, just deal down to your break. So you look like this. You take one and then two, just like that. And then their card is on top. And then you just place that on top. Or if you want, you don't have to do that. You can just put it on top. Um, go ahead and break about a quarter of the deck. Put underneath the deck. Show them, all right, this is where your card is. Show them their card just so they feel safe and secure. And then um, deal down to it like I showed in the other one. So their card is now on top. 
Just really simple for us. Um, it actually was taught in another video. So go ahead and check that out. It'll probably be in the link on the description or you can find it on our channel. Um, Alright, so after you've given them the idea that their card is somewhere lost in the deck, uh, you're going to go ahead and just tell them, alright, so I am going to go ahead and deal down cards in just random piles when really you're counting out, you're spelling out the seven of hearts. So you go S E V E N O F H E A R T S. Now you don't want to say this out loud, as uh, they know what you're doing. Pretty obvious. Um, I have done that before. It's really embarrassing. Um, but their card is now on the bottom right there. Alright, so next you can just truly start dealing down piles. Um, you can do like three at a time, four at a time, just to really give them the idea that you're giving a good mix up while you're doing it. So, there we go. Alright, now watch this. You're going to start squaring up piles. Just start squaring them up. Um, now remember, their card is on the bottom of this pile right here. So you're going to start putting them on, uh, stacking each other on like that. What you can do is just put their card on top straight up. Um, just this packet on top just straight up like that or what I like to do is go ahead and have that one in a separate um, in a separate pile just in your hand and then just again get the break right there and then deal down to it so that their packet is on top so their packet um, now is right there and you can do the pattern that I said in the trick you know the deck told me what your card is seven of hearts and now um, I know what it is but I don't know what position it is in the deck so if I just spell it out it'll be your card now I generally just deal them face down that's just an easy way to do it you can do it face up just to make sure you don't mess up but remember the last letter is their card the seven of hearts don't make that mistake of being like um, oh, well, uh, Seven of Hearts, spell out the whole world word, and then flip over the next card, and it's their, not their card. That's going to be really humiliating. So remember, S-E-V-E-N-O-F-H-E-A-R-T-S. And then this card is their card, not this one. So you're like, okay, look, it's the Seven of Hearts right there. So that's basically the trick, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.